Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Skybreak. It's a sandbox game, that's all I really know about it. Anyway, humanity is threatened, a mortal virus awoke, and it's spreading quickly. The particular flora of Arcania, a planet used to prepare humans for space colonization, may help the creation of a cure, but is now abandoned since working drones turned against humans. A group of researchers is sent to this planet to find a solution. I am one of them. But as we arrived, things went wrong. Well, so far, so pretty. I'm digging that so far. <laughs> I like the little thunderstorm icon in the bottom right corner. That's great. Kind of wish they had music. The the music for the like intro screen was actually really nice. You know, the the title screen was. Hoping I can see more. Oh, this crash! I'm lucky to be alive. Oh, the others are fine. My oxygen is broken. I won't last long without. Oh, my spaceship is broken, and I won't last long without oxygen. Hey, I know this drone. He was created to assist humans on space missions. I'm sure he can help me find a shelter. Alright, press E to hide. I'm digging the visuals here. I mean, the plants look a little bit generic, but fine. There's not much draw distance. Character design is awesome, though. I'm digging that, and the animation's good. Oh, we can hide in, uh, we can hide in grasses and stuff. So that means there's probably stuff, like, hunting me. Alright. I'm working with it. I'm digging it, though, thus far. Let's see what happens when press E to hide. Oh, I see. We just kind of like hide ish. Okay, that works. So yeah, the the lack of draw distance makes kind of the the air. Um, is that supposed to be clouds? That's probably supposed to be clouds. What's that? Oh no, it's just fireflies. Okay, music ain't bad. The sound effects ain't bad. The visual glitching. I mean, it's a bit obnoxious, but it kind of makes sense. <laughs> you can even see my character in the glitches. Actually, that's kind of neat. So in the top left, you can see your oxygen, you can see your health. I don't know what the 15 is. Probably shields or armor of some kind. Doesn't look like I've got anything particularly threatening. I wonder what would happen if I just wandered off and did whatever. Probably just instantaneous death. Kind of wish you could see, like, a robot rolling by. Wait, can I harvest this? Hey, I got some mucus. Ugh. <laughs> I found the magical snot flower. Glorious. Exactly what I wished for in my time of need. So I've got like a sweatshirt tied around my legs, or my waist, oh. We got a, a sky lift. Dock your station here. We got an elevator coming down. Is it... Oh, wow. I think I was down fast. Bam. Nice little elevator. Okay, uh, close doors. Okay, sky lift. Uh, go to level one. We So let's take a look at ourselves. Man, we look like uh, something out of Destiny. Maybe a little bit lo-fi, but still. I mean, maybe not lo-fi, low, low detail? Because it's more or less what it is. Well. What do we have here? The Awakening. Find a place to heal yourself. Uh, I assume this is just a map. Okay. Health room. Wait, is this the health room? Is this it? Hey, there we go. Okay, so the glitches go away, and things look... Wow, yeah, this is a really nice character model. And the game seems to be running great. I've got it on high. And most early access games this pretty do not run well at all. Like, terribly so. This is actually quite nice. Pretty gorgeous, too. Use the radio system. The radio seems to be working. Let's see if anyone is on the line. Mayday, mayday. Just crashed on Arcania. Is anyone here? Nothing. Wait, I received a weak signal. It's located on another island. Hope the others are still alive. I need to join them. Take all the loot within the station to prepare for the journey. Uh, Loot? Well, let's just wander around the station for the time being. Can I just, like, live here, take this stuff? Crafting board. Okay, let's just... Let's just not, not say we didn't. How do we, how do we loot this place? Where is... I mean, we got, a, like, a bunch of boxes and stuff. Can I go in a third, per third person? No. Third person? Nope. Does, doesn't look like it. I mean, first person. There we go. Words. Oh, hey, there's a sprint button. Of course there's a sprint button. I just didn't bother using it. Nice. Open storage chest. Take all. Great. Take all the loot within the station. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Architect table. Health room. Navigation room. Chip room. Craft room. Move room. Remove room. Remove room. Oh, hey. Oh, 
Oh, I removed a room? Did it go into my inventory? No. Well, all right. So there's just not a room over here now. Cool. Hopefully that didn't screw me up for some reason. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Inspect, we got an extractor. So there was actually stuff in here. I'm not just ranting and raving for no good reason. Still, we did manage to just completely destroy a room with uh, apparently no, no recourse. I don't know, maybe there's a way of putting it back, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, how do we open up our inventory tab? There we go, mucus, extractor, equip. Okay, and air refill, quick repair. Well, I think that's all the loot I could find, so let's let's go down. Let's see, go to ground. I'm digging this game so far. I mean, it doesn't really have much going for it yet. We're not doing anything, but the character design is wonderful. The the I mean, the room design is great. The environmental design needs a little bit of work. Press left shift to run. As you run, your heartbeat increases. It's fine. But, I don't know. With, like, a little bit more retooling on the environment. I mean, the grasses look really nice. Even if they're... Okay, never mind. They they look really nice from certain angles. So, if you don't look at them too hard, they look real good. Uh, is there, like, a map? Oh, there is there's a map. So, what can I... Can I... Can I extract? How do I... Oh. Let's just take all the loot. I must have missed something. Dang it! Wait, those are ships. Are those the drones? I don't know. Either way, if it says that I'm missing stuff, then I'm missing stuff and I should go back for it. Alright, figured it out. There's a sword on this table here. Totally looks like loot. Totally looked like a sword. Is it even a sword? I don't know. It looks kind of like a cricket bat. Well, either way, we got a weapon now, I assume. We totally don't look like a scientist, either. We, we look like some kind of warrior fellow. I don't even know how to attack. But anyway, go back to your spaceship and try and fix it. Also, I noticed, uh, now that we're here, kind of hard to spot in the situation, but um, you can see, like, spaceship-looking drone things all over the place. Which is kind of concerning. So you can't harvest that. Can I extract this stuff? Oh. Oh, that's the extractor thing. Okay, cool. So we just have to wait for a couple of seconds and it mines it automatically. That's really nice, so I don't actually have to bother. I can just set that thing to go. Nice. I dig it. Okay, so we do have to worry about, like, I, I saw a spaceship, spaceships. Okay, so we get 10 iron. Where the heck is my spaceship? It is over on the, this direction, right? Uh, yeah, okay. So we're in, now we're pointed in the right direction. So we can hide in the plants if, uh, if a drone is flying by. Though if we're lucky, we won't have to worry about any such things. At least not for a little while. So yeah, I'll have to figure out how to make some more extractors. At some point. But, let's see, any of these harvestable? Doesn't look like it. What's this thing? Looks like some kind of power cell looking dealio. Oh, it's a beacon. Plug in a battery. Well, I don't have any batteries, so I can't interact with it. Where's my ship? There it is. It's that glowy bit over there. Yeah, so the environment is... I mean, it... I guess maybe it's... I'm just thinking it's kind of like Proteus. The whole... There's not a whole lot of... Hey, got an energy flower. Note to self, beeline for those. I assume they're useful. Uh... It reminds me of Proteus, just in the fact that the environment is kind of empty right now, but gonna be straightforward about this one. This is a early access game. Oh, there is... There's a drone... Uh, there we go. What the heck is this thing? Okay, gotta watch out for that. A bit oxygen left. Oh, I see. Is there, like, a roll? Oh, there is a roll. Nice. Ow. Okay, I gotta roll better than that. Check its inventory. Hello, this actually had had things in it. 
So like an ionized solution and stuff. Cool. Well, let's go back to act, go back to our ship. So this actually has like a, I mean it's a rudimentary action combat system, but it is still an action combat system. I'll give it that. Uh, is this thing even fixable? Search for pieces to retrieve. Let's see if I can fix the spaceship. Seems really broken. There's nothing I can do to fix this. At least there's one piece I could retrieve. I need to find another way to reach the other island. Oh, jeez. My oxygen's just about out. Uh, here we go. Air refill. Equip. Uh, two. How do I... How do I use... How do, how do I use my oxygen refill? Uh, options. Uh, keyboard. Use. Inventory. Interaction. Use item. Mouse 2. Okay. M mouse 2. There we go! Okay. So we figured it out, and we have been noticed. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm going to commit glorious combat against this thing. I can just keep going until it... Until it pulls up the lines, at which point we want to stop attacking it. Okay, yeah, so it's not exactly the greatest combat system I've ever played. That said, it is quite possibly the best combat system I've ever seen in a... Uh, in one of these games. You know, in a... In a open world sandbox survival type game. I hope they actually open this game up to multiplayer at some point. I doubt they're going to soon. Oh, finally, a beacon. It's powerful enough to detect a station dock under another island. It's not yet activated. It needs more power. Find the missing battery to get the beacon. Okay. Well, I don't know where that is, so let's head back to that station for the... Uh, go back to the station for a second. We want to use the healing thing, plus we're almost out of oxygen. I also don't know... Oh, is that experience on the left? Do I level up? I hope I level up. That'd actually be really nice. So let's grab some mucus as we go by and see if I can craft some more oxygen refills. Wait, this is something different. No, 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 no. No, this is the elevator. It just looked different for whatever reason. Okay, uh, go back up to level one. I really wish I hadn't destroyed that one uh, section of the room. I don't know how to get it back. Hmm. Either way, though, I am actually really enjoying this game so far. I mean, it's simplistic, and there's not too much to do yet. Or either that, or and or it just spoon feeds content to you kind of slowly. Let's see. Oh, that's my health there. So the diamond is my health. Oxygen, heart rate. Okay, I was really hoping there's like an experience bar in this game. Okay, so we got a map. Oh, I destroyed the crafting thing. Oh, we have a health room. Craft room needs scrap. So, we destroyed the room, and we didn't even, we didn't even get any, oh, ship piece. No, that's probably not it. Double attack, two by three, I don't know how that works. Probably something in the craft room. Either way, we need to go back out and uh, kill some more bits. Well, at least we got free healing, so, I guess, I'm a moron, but, uh, well, I mean, happens. Find the missing battery. I guess we can hit stuff while we're out and about down here anyway. But yeah, let's not let's try not to stray too far from the ship. Just so we don't have to uh waste any more of those air refills until I can craft more. Now I wanna say sprinting uses up my oxygen faster, which does kind of suck. I see a tower looking thing over here. Wait, is that that's the one we already know about. Okay, so why don't we why don't we venture off into other directions? See what we've got around the outside and wherever else we can find. Be kind of nice if it was easier to find foes to fight. I don't know. I guess I'm not. I'm not minding the sparseness of the environment a little bit. It's got. It's got a good feeling, and the the soundtrack is definitely doing kind of the the peaceful island thing justice. I guess I also just dig the fact that uh, it's so colorful. I mean, it's got a lot of, like, greens and blues and stuff, but I'm thinking, like, uh, Seven Days to Die. That game is downright hideous. Like, just flat out. Oh, this is to hide. We don't want to hide. We want to gather stuff if we can. So hopefully there's a way of, like, upgrading your suit so you can last longer out here. Come on. 
I need something to go biff. And it doesn't... Oh, oh, nope, that's my drone. Okay. I'm trying to spot anything moving out here. Guess I'll just run around until I find something interesting. And then probably run back. Yeah, because I don't care about stealth. I'm fairly good at combat, plus healing is free. That's nice. That's really nice. You just have to, you know, get back to it. Is that a... Is that a thing? No, that's probably just another... What's this? Is this like... Oh, well, we found the missing battery. Huh. It was actually listed on the map. Well, why don't we extract the iron while we're here? Oh, found it. Is that thing mining? It is mining. Let's let our heart rate go down a little bit. And surprise attack! Oh god, this one has saws. Well, at least we know what to avoid. So this one's different. Maybe it's got extractors for me. Or, even better, iron. Nope, nothing but scrap. Dang. Alright, well, let's start extracting that. Now, we're running low on oxygen, which is a problem. Pretty much means we're going to have to go sprinting straight back to the space uh, spaceship after this. It's okay, we've got enough oxygen to make it back, I think. Had saw blades, though, interestingly enough. Okay, let's put our sword away, because we are we can't run with this. Oh, that's what that circle is. That circle means that's where the... Uh, that circle means that's where the, the the space station is. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, so it does look like most of the drones are located around my ship. We'll come back to the... We'll come back to that signal tower in a bit. But, no, I'm I'm actually really impressed with this game thus far. The My drone is teleporting to me repeatedly here. Oxygen left nine. Yeah, we'll make it. That's a combat drone. Okay, so maybe the combat drones aren't just located around. And it looks like it's really easy to gather certain things yet. So this is going to hurt. But we can heal up as soon as we get in. Ah, that makes it really hard to see, though. Uh, close doors. Thank you. Okay. Doesn't look like you heal normally, though. Which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, ideally, I would like, uh... I would like the ability to upgrade my oxygen somehow. But I guess eventually I'll be able to craft a bunch of oxygen containers. It actually kind of annoys me that I can't, uh, just reuse the one I already had. Just walk in here and it, boop, goes back up to being full. Uh, press tab. Yeah, because I've got air refill. It's already equipped, yeah. No dice. I think heart rate does actually impact your oxygen consumption. That said, I think it's still better to sprint. Okay, let's go see if I can kill a couple more things and hit, hit that tower at the same time. Because I would like to make some progress here as opposed to trying to make up for my, uh... Uh... Mistakes along the way. When it, when it said take, uh... You know, loot... Loot your, uh... Loot the space station, it's like, okay. Oh. Oh. Is that? Oh. I got it. It said those things drop off drones. Interesting. Well, that's one way to dodge. I'll get my oxygen back in a second. Okay. Ow, why is there a shield? It's okay, we haven't taken too much damage. And scrap. Not much, though. We got a lot from the first one. Yeah, so let's get some oxygen here. Nice thing is we don't actually even have to go up to the ship to uh, to get oxygen back. Let's open the doors. Wish I actually really wish the doors would just automatically open. So let's see. Uh, where's the tower? Back over this direction. What's this thing? Don't know and it won't tell me. Build? Why? Buildy? Hmm. So that's, that's an iron mine. Um... We want to go this way. Yep, there's the tower in the distance. And you can see another one of those drone drop-off things. Speaking of drones... Did 
just mess him up. Yeah, so the dodge roll system ain't perfect. In fact, the combat itself is mostly just face roll. But you know what? I would rather have this combat than most other types, just because, like, uh, uh let's see. Gonna be honest, like, Don't Starve Together has kind of interesting combat stuff, but that's mainly just because of the equipment. Um, I mean, Rust, Arc. I heard a noise, but I didn't see a drone. I'm gonna assume I'm safe for a little while longer. Uh, but you know, those games are just awful. Like, the, the melee combat is atrocious, and even the shooting feels bad. Okay, let's... I need to put the battery in where? Here? Yeah, here we go. Plug in battery. Beacon activated. New station dock is now reachable on a new island. Oh, can I, like, go down from the other one? Okay, well, either way. Let's go mess up this drone just so I can rebuild the crafting room. Is this one saw-based? I have no idea. Either way, we've got plenty of oxygen, so it's not a concern. I'm gonna mess you up. But yeah, I... I I destroyed that one room thinking, you know, hey, the, I can loot it. No. No, you can't. Can I, like, bust this thing up for extra parts? Nope, doesn't look like it. That's... I'd say it's a shame, but it really doesn't matter much to me. Was I... Was there, like, a loot these option? Oh, hide in the grass. Go figure. Okay, let's run back. So we've got... We've got that over there. Oh. I can even put, like, markers down so I know I know where to go. Neat. But let's run back to our, our current station for the time being and see if I can, like, take the elevator back down to that one. I doubt it, but that could be handy. Otherwise, we're going to have to swim for it. I don't actually know if that's a thing. Eh. Either way, this is, this is nice and relaxing. What's this down here? Caution. Lift area. <laughs> Funny. I guess don't stand underneath the lift just in case it decides to get, uh, uh, just get a little bit too, uh, too close to the ground. I don't know. Loving the design for the little drone. I mean, it's very guilty, Spark. And or, you know, Dinklebot. But that's not really a problem. I'm glad it's not talking to me, though. As much as I like, uh, guilty Spark or Dinklebot, I don't think this game would be helped by, like, excessive dialogue here. Okay, so we've got a map. Select a station dock. Oh, the station's moving. So yeah, this is this is just our permanent base. Well, let's go rebuild the crafting room. Uh, let's see, we've already got a health room, a navigation room. Was it a chip, chip room? I don't know. Either way, let's make the craft room for the time being. Yeah, I think I blew up the chip room. Which was a bit of a mistake. At least all we need is more salvage for it. So let's see. So th this is the crafting room. We can make a crystal container. Which is, my assumption, oxygen. Oh, no, it's... Oh, no. What do we need for an extractor? Okay. So to make another extractor, we just need more ionized solutions and scrap. Fortunately, we're short on scrap. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well... One step forward, one step back, that kind of business. So let's let's go see what's down on uh, the ground in this area, and see if we can find our buddies. Because that's 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 my beacon, which is useless. We've got a couple of mining nodes over here, which is handy. Ooh, you know, I was talking about other things. Okay, now I should find the others. The drone could help me find any point of interest with its sonar. Drone, you wanna? The drone is just flat out gone. How do we, how do we sonar? It's like, there we go. How do we sonar? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go stand in this for a second. Let's close the doors. Okay, uh, change combo. Oh, really? I don't know how combo works. So, mouse zero, mouse one, mouse two. Okay. Unsheath, sheath, inventory map, interaction, jump roll, select slot. How do we... How do we drone? Oh, I can't drone in here. Oh, I... Did, so he's telling me to go this direction? No, we've got... We've got stuff that direction. I got it. Well, let's wait until those go, go by, I think. So if you get caught by these drone ships, you're actually forced to fight. Let's test this. Yep, ooh. 
Oh boy. Okay, this is conceivably a problem. So, interesting... Ow. Interestingly enough... Let's take out the saw ship. Okay. What do you guys feel like shooting? I don't know. I wonder if they can hit each other. Can I hit both at the same time? Doesn't look like it. Okay, one of these guys is a saw ship. Oh yeah, the... I was just hitting the saw ship. That's okay. Ow. How's my health doing? Not great. Get out of the way of the saw ship. Hopefully the ones I've already destroyed don't dis disintegrate on me. Okay, there's one left. There he is. So yeah, as long as they don't disappear on me, then we get their, sh their stuff. Which would be great. Ow. Crap. I always roll too soon. That's okay. It's two more, two more shots and I'm dead, but one more shot and he's dead. Yeah! So yeah, if you want to farm resources... Oh, are you... Can I just not loot when I'm injured? Nope, I just apparently couldn't loot that one. Okay. Well, anything else around here? I, I totally destroyed multiple, but... Scoot this here. Let's ping. Can I just not loot this one? Yeah. He is not lootable. So we've got a tower. We've got a lot of stuff here. So yeah. Was this? Oh, this is the one I missed. Okay, so this gets me some scrap. Let's go back. Let's get healed. A little bit excessive for uh, what I'm doing here, but probably worthwhile. Let's go back up to level 1 and get healed. I kind of wish there was an easy way to heal. I guess that's what the, uh, that's what the repair canisters are for. <sighs> but still, hopefully I get, get to upgrade my melee weapons at some point. Hopefully I get to do a lot of things. Switch way, this way's health, yes? Yeah! Okay. But yeah, no, this is actually really fun. It's, I mean, it's a plot-based sandbox game, which is a bit unique, as far as I'm concerned. But maybe it opens up after a while. But, you know, a plot a plot slash objective based game, not a bad deal. And it would actually be really nice if I could, um, let's see. Ionized canisters plus, plus some scrap. That's not a bad move, especially because I do not need, I don't have whatever these are. So yeah, let's get some extractors. The more of those I have, the more resources I can come back with. Obviously I need more scrap too, but that's a little bit easier to get. Or at least, find. Dangerous, but worthwhile. I don't know how death works in this game. Can I... Oh, I can save game. Okay, I think, I, I think I've saved the game. Good. Doesn't look like there's a load. So. Let's see. We want to we wanna ping. Okay, so we've got a tower 145 meters that way. Or 70 meters this way. Well, I'm going to go this way for the time being. There's a rock that I can re harvest, but for the time being, let's mess these drones up. Oh, shoot. They are more plentiful here. But that's okay. I kind of wish there were like quick steps and hop, like hops and stuff, but maybe that's just because uh, I'm used to like, you know, much more robust action combat games. Either way, that was a little costly as far as uh, oxygen goes. Didn't take any health damage, though. So you know what? I hate doing this. We're going to run back. We're going to get our oxygen back up. And then we're going to keep going. <laughs> J just because I'd rather do this than um, wait. Well, rather do this than run out while we're out and about earlier. Or later. Okay. Also, interestingly enough, you can't jump while you're... You're uh, fighting in this game. See, it looks like we got a lot of drones in the area. Okay, yep. Still couple this direction, unless... Nope, th that's not useful to me. It's actually over here. I think? Well, let's go for that structure, whatever it is. And I can outrun most of these combat drones anyway. 
It looks like this area is just more robust to begin with. But yeah, let's check this one out. Maybe there's oxygen inside. Oh no, it's just another tower for me to go up and down. Busted, though. Shoot. Um... Well, that doesn't make my life easier. In fact, that's just downright inconvenient. Alright. Well. I'm just gonna keep sprinting to and from that... that oxygen... area. Like, I, I would love to do more exploration, but the, the fact that my, my venturing outside is such a timed event, I don't have much of an option but to keep going back to and from. I wonder... Maybe I can move the station to that elevator later. Probably. It just isn't going to light up for the time being. So let's close these doors. And then open them back up again. Yeah, timed... Timed exploration is a bit rough. Okay, so we've got those things over there. That one, that one there. Yeah, alright. It's the only thing I can think of. Either that or that's the one telling me to go back to where I was originally. Well, either way. I've got one more oxygen canister, so I can use that if I need to. We'll just sprint around for the time being. They're not going to be able to hurt me. I'm too fast. But at the 50% oxygen mark, I should probably turn around no matter what. I don't want to bother fighting any of these guys. Alright. Nothing. Back we go. Uh, my drone has disappeared. Oh wait, no, there it is. Okay. Much bigger island, but yeah, the sonar did not help me in such a way as I expected. So we've got towers and stuff over that direction. We've got a tower over there. You know what? I wonder if some of those I couldn't get to by just moving mine around, like my station around. Find different elevator nodes gives me more places to move to. Either way, we need to get back in quick. And all I need to do is go into the elevator. We're not injured. But yeah, I think I think upgrades to upgrades to the suit would be nice just so I could stay out here for a lot longer cuz this I mean, this has been like a minute or two. Maybe if I didn't sprint, but at the same time, I don't want to walk really slowly. Let's take a look at our map. We have gone almost nowhere. You know what? Let's go. Let's go up. I want to see if I can. Uh, I want to see if I can move my station to the next tower that we hit earlier. Because if that's the case, then I'm just going to start sprinting from tower to tower, and I'll just save before every ex expedition. Uh, and then I'll just kind of cover the map that way. And eventually we'll find our fellows. At some point. Can I can I move the tower here? No. I can't. Glorious! Well, I guess this is going to take some time. But, uh, speaking of, we're more or less out at this point. So, uh, overall impressions of the game. Music is great. Visuals are gorgeous. Uh, game is a little bit limited, honestly, and the start is kind of slow. They really don't give you a whole lot of content uh, without <laughs> without putting up a bit of a fight. Uh, but that said, speaking of fighting, it's the best uh, sandbox game I've ever played combat from like a combat perspective, and that's actually a really good thing. So from that, I'm actually planning on keeping playing with this. I don't know. It's got an interesting story, story thing. It's sci-fi, alien planet, all of that good stuff. So... I like it, and I actually don't know how much Skybreak is going to cost, come to think of it. Uh, let's see, what does it say here? Far Sky Interactive, they say nothing about its price point. Yay. My bet is 10 15 bucks. Uh, if it's like 20 it might not be worth it yet. It's of course early access, just like everything else. Um, the release is on Steam at this point in time. I don't know. But... It's, it seems worthwhile. Uh, I, I assume once they've really put some more work into it, it's actually going to be really good. I mean, the combat right now... What the combat needs right now is, like, different types of role. The role's maybe a little bit too energetic. Uh, maybe a deeper combat system. You know, different weapons, anywhere from guns to, like, a pike, a sword, an axe, a hammer, that kind of thing. Um, 
I'm not going to say like full on Dark Souls style, but a little bit of variety will go a long way. And then, you know, owing to that, different enemy types as well, with potentially better tells. I don't know, the, the icon above their heads is particularly misleading. Oh, whatever. I don't know. I don't mind. I'm enjoying this game a lot. And, as such, we'll be, uh, like I said, continuing the series. So, if you guys liked this impressions of video, slash, I guess, beginning of Let's Play in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and, uh, like I was saying, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to be doing a full series on Skybreak, and covering it as it updates throughout, because, well, it seems interesting enough to me. And, uh, huh. Also, other indie impressions things. God, I love for, I love indie games. Okay. Oh man, I've got like kind of a, a crisis suit underneath. It does like the muscle fiber thing. I like that. I love the design for this guy. Anyway, I'm jabbering. I will see you guys in the next episode of Skybreak. And as always, thanks for watching.